I know you've taken a brief look at the numbers. What's yep. your take? Yeah, my take is that we were all paralyzed with Spectre and Meltdown <laughs> uh, last <laughs> quarter, and everyone was concerned that this hack would be exploited and that Intel would, you know, really have trouble associated with this. And what we're seeing is a rebound at Intel um, in terms of their ability to uh, grow profits and expand EPS in this business. Um, that. 49% growth we were just talking about at AWS in the cloud. Turns out those are Intel chips, and that's where you're seeing this 25% growth um, in their data center business. Um, extremely profitable business. Intel is pivoting the company in that direction. And then, oh, by the way, the Left for Dead category, which was PCs that everybody thought was going to shrink down to nothing, actually that category grew by 3%. Now, they so, are seeing competition from people like AMD, who are up significantly in the quarter. But, you know, really, that's on the desktop. Intel did a great job in commercial notebooks and really defended and expanded the, even the PC space. It was a solid quarter. And, of course, there are companies like Apple, like even Facebook, potentially, making its own chips, which is a threat to Intel. Well, I was going to add to what Crawford was saying. We have heard that, that Apple and Facebook and Microsoft and Amazon want to make their own chips, but that clearly has not dented Intel's uh, uh, data server business. If anything, those companies are spending so heavily in their own data centers and the cloud that it is now propelling Intel.